Happy Friday, everybody, and welcome to Undisputed Live well, from Los Angeles. Well, well. I'm Jen Hale here with Elise Shannon Sharp. Yeah. Good morning, everybody, and and we have a mystery guest. Skip's not here today. Where is Skip? I'm someone else. Skip's sick today. What? what? He said he couldn't come in after what happened last night, oh. so he's not going to be in for today's show. Was it the flu, stomach ache, uh, it heartache? Was, it's a <laughs> cowboy flu. <laughs> It's going around in Cowboy Nation. Everybody's got it. Skip, I got something for you today. You like that, Skip, right there? I don't know what it is. This right here is uh, Hennessy sent me a limited edition. They only made oh. 70 bottles of Hennessy. Mm. This is bottle number 39. I was so certain that the Cowboys were going to lose, I went and bought a pair of red bottoms mm. to match my display, mm. to match my pants. Mm. That's how certain I was they were going to lose last night. Mm. Somebody gave you those. No, 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 Skip, yeah, Skip yep. how you doing today? <sighs> well, I guess I got to <laughs> suck it up and I got to take my medicine. So it's enough of that. Come on, Skip. So throw these, but. <sighs> okay, let's do this, Chef Shay. How you doing, Skip? What are you going to serve up today? Well, the Cowboys you saw last night be able to win the NFC East. The Cowboys that I saw last night, Skip, they might not win another game if they play like that. Skip, that was abysmal. That was very, very disappointing, considering um, <laughs> Jerry's tried some of everything to, to turn this thing around. Skip, if, if you look at the Cowboys, it seems like the last two weeks, the first 15, let's say first 15, 20 plays are scripted. Now, last night, what we saw, Skip, that was the longest drive in terms of yard, as far as uh, plays. plays and time of possession that someone has scored on an opening drive. Mm -hmm. I think it's in the last 15 NFL seasons. Let that sink in. So what was it? It's like 17 plays, almost nine minutes. Mm -hmm. And after that, they did absolutely nothing. So what it tells me is that they have a great game plan because the team has an idea of what they think because they strip. Uh, they scripted the plays. Mm -hmm. But after that, Skip, they don't make any adjustments. Yep. We saw that. Now, this is the second week in a row we've seen this, Skip. That is true. They open up against Buffalo, great drive, go right down the field. Yep. They open up against last night against the Bears, they go right down the field. They did. The defense goes to the sideline, makes adjustments. It seems like Kellen Moore does not make adjustments. And boom. Mm. And this is what we this is what we got, Skip. Mm. This is that was very disappointing. Considering all the talk, remember Skip, he got chippy at practice. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of chippiness going on. There was a lot of pushing and talking. And Dak said, "We had done enough of talking. Mm -hmm. Well, Dak maybe need to do some more talking. We're gonna yep. talk about him a little later." Yep. Skip, it's I'm Lazarus Cooper. I mean Amari Cooper. Because mm. one minute he's on the sideline, he's like, "Oh, I can't make it." And then he runs. He's, he's kicking his foot up in the air like, "Oh my foot!" <laughs> you, oh, you I'm, saw I'm, that too, huh? My foot. <laughs> You saw that too, huh? I'm, I'm, I came up lame, man. I can't go. <laughs> yeah, you you yeah. saw that. The first half, one reception, 15 yards in the first half. Second half, five for 68. And we know all of a sudden he's playing really well. Skip, this is, I'm, I'm so disappointed in the Cowboys, Skip, because you know, maybe we need to stop this. Pro football focus, Skip Bayless, mm -hmm. and all these other analysts, stop saying the Cowboys are the most talented team mm -hmm. because we already know talent alone does not win you a championship mm -hmm. because what does that, it's telling me Okay, they might be talented, but they're not playing. There's a disconnect somewhere. And 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 I told Jerry, Jerry, you need to stop talking because they're not listening to you. You've already threatened to fire everybody. Then you put your arms around Jason and tell him that's your life, that's your football lifer. Yep. And now you're resolute. Skip, I told you this was happening. I said, you're not going to make the playoffs. The Eagles blew a, squandered an opportunity last week because they could have won last week, win this week, now they're in first place, but they didn't happen. They're going to tie you up this week. You guys are in a tailspin. The Rams are going to come and beat you. I'm telling you, I'm just going to go. The Rams are going to come and beat you. But where you messed up at, Skip, was the kickoff. When you went there, you weren't prepared to play that game. Mm. That was, uh, that was that's, that's, that's disappointing that that's what y'all put on TV, and I had to watch it. I loved every minute of it, though. But I had to watch that. <laughs> mm. You probably turned up the sound. No, 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 no. I didn't turn up the sound, Skip. Yeah. I was like, Ooh. Okay, maybe you just turned up last night. Right? <laughs> I did. Yeah. I did yeah. turn up. I went, yeah. me and old Johnny, our stage mm -hmm. manager, is going to hit that bottle after. Really? Yeah. yeah. Okay. They only made 70 of them, so I hope Johnny don't hit it too hard. <sighs> well, we don't have a show tomorrow, so maybe you can get away with it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Go ahead. You done? Yeah, I'm done. I'm done. Today, I cannot fight back. <laughs> but I am warning you, it ain't over. No. 
we still have a long way to go, especially when it comes to the NFC least. Because unfortunately or fortunately, somebody has to win this division. Right. And somebody's going to get a home playoff game by default. Somebody is going to be the lesser of two evils between Dallas and Philadelphia. Two lessers of They're, evils. Well, but somebody's going to be the lesser. Right. And you know who I think that somebody will still be. But I am here to admit publicly, I'm not in my right mind right now because I am so worn (laughs) out from watching my team fail to take off. I keep waiting for the quote unquote most talented team in the NFL the team that every pregame show going into every game I watch, they all pick Dallas. It just goes across. Who you got? Dallas. Oh, it's Dallas, 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 Dallas. They all just, oh, it's Dallas. We're the smart ones. Who do we pick? Yeah. The Bears. Okay, we both picked the Bears. (laughs) Exactly. We smart. But I keep waiting for that moment of ignition, that launch, that one defining moment in which they finally hit on all their many cylinders. And the NFL collectively sits back and says, "Uh uh-oh, here they come. I keep waiting for that moment. Skip, you've had that the last three weeks. You've had national televised games. I keep telling you, I just keep, I'm on the edge of my seat, and then I'm finally on the floor (laughs) waiting for that moment. And it's excruciating to Mm -hmm. me. And I'm I'm worn thin. I'm worn down to the bone where I, I can't, I've tried every jinx breaker known to man. I even... One of Ernestine's friends sent me a pair of cowboy socks, which I usually wouldn't wear. So last night I said, you know what? Maybe that's it. I'll try my cowboy socks. <laughs> no, no. Last night, of all the games they played all year, was the most disappointing, frustrating, teeth-gnashing, hand-wringing display of the entire year to, to the point that I, I, j- I could barely watch the end of it because... I did predict yesterday that the Bears would win simply because there's no urgency. There's no reason that you had to go win that game. It was not do or die. Right. Boy, Jason Garrett lit a fire under his team last night, didn't he? (laughs) (sighs) But I thought they would lose a close game. I didn't see that coming because you didn't see that coming. No, no, no. I thought it would be close. definitely thought it would be closer than that. That was total domination. I did not see... Mitchell Trubisky's offense scoring 24 unanswered points. Think about that. 24 unanswered after that opening drive. 24 unanswered points. And I did not see Dak Prescott's offense, number one in the NFL, after the opening drive, listen to this, go punt, punt, missed field goal. Was that not predictable? Yep. Missed field goal, punt, and punt. Those are the next five possessions after that opening drive. Right. That was against a Bears defense, once vaunted, that was missing Roquan Smith, who went out early. Prince right. of Mookamar couldn't go for the whole game. Trevathan. They didn't have Danny Trevathan, and they haven't had Akeem Hicks for a while. Right. So, he's okay. so those are four really key pieces. Mm-hmm. Like, if I had to rank pieces on that defense uh, outside of Khalil Mack, right. I, that might be my top five. Yeah. It might be. Well, right? uh, Hicks is two, yeah, I Trevathan know. is three. Yeah, I know. I, I got you. What an embarrassment that was. It was. So, I'm going to admit to you, did I lose some confidence in my team last night? You better believe I lost some confidence. (laughs) But I still believe, I still believe my team is better than the team you picked. I just believe Dallas is better than Philadelphia. The same Philadelphia that went to South Beach and face-planted in front of the Miami Dolphins. They had the easiest closing schedule in all of football, and they lost the easiest game on that closing schedule at Miami. And I am not going to be surprised if your Eagles, or Beagles as I call them, if they don't blow another game, either to the Giants and Eli, they got to play them twice, Mm -hmm. the Redskins at Washington, the Redskins have come alive with a little bit of a running game, Mm -hmm. or obviously December 22nd, Dallas at Philadelphia. 
I just, of, of all the things I trust, to, to your point, do I believe that my team will beat the Rams in 10 days? they got 10 days to get a little healthier for this game. Maybe to get Jeff Heath back. Maybe to get Leighton Van Der Esch back. Maybe to get Antoine Woods back if he's eligible to play. <laughs> so maybe they would be a little healthier going into that game with this 10-day break, the mini-buy. Do I believe that? No, I don't. I have no evidence. I have no logical reason to believe they're going to beat the Rams. Right. The Rams seem to come back to life at Arizona, and we'll see how they fare against Seattle. Right. But the point is, none of that matters. I'm going to say it again. It doesn't matter except for confidence and momentum. Again, traditionally in this league, you you have to, as Coach Tom Landry used to preach to me, you have to streak, was his word. You have to streak through December. It's the only way to go win the Super Bowl. You streak. You get on a Super Bowl roll. Right. Well, well, they're unrolling. They're, they're, they're falling backwards. Unraveling. Okay, they are unraveling right before your very eyes. So what, what if they lost the game to the Rams, which I think they will? So that would mean they would have lost four straight, five of six, and eight of 11 going to Philadelphia for the big showdown game. Do I think they can dredge it back up and suddenly is there a switch to flip inside that psyche? Yeah, I still believe there is one. They just, they've always played pretty to very well at Philadelphia. They play very well within the division. They're still undefeated, believe it or not, in the division. Right. So do I believe that they can flip whatever that deep, dark switch is that, that's hidden down inside? Yeah, yeah. I do. Yes, Gil. Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show and be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.